think I kind of just want to progress now. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to the deep floor. 14. Adjust my mic here a little bit. Um, also, I was thinking... We picked up another, another champs here, right? Yeah, we have so many of these now. Okay. Let's... I would love to get the, this Shamshir up to plus five and break it into a Synth Sphere. That would be awesome. We're gonna do that with this guy. <laughs> Angel, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? The sad thing about this is we're not getting a ton of attack power from it. Seal 60% of the weapon ability into a sphere. Oh, let's make sure there's... Okay, there are no attachments. Good. Yay! Give me that PS4 trophy. Best of luck plus five. So now... If we equip that, 60% of those stats are on this. <laughs> uh, that's that's uh, that's pretty big. So let's see, 17 MP. If we look at you, what was the attack? That might be the way to go. It gives one point of fire. Oh yeah, it's keeping some of the stone breaker. That's cool too. You like this game? Yeah, it's uh, a lot of people like it. It's fun to come back. I haven't played this game in ages. So Shamshir is really, 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 really fast right now. Maximum speed. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna absolutely like absorb this synth sphere into the shamshir? Probably not. Because I'd rather have two synth spheres. Okay, so we'll deal with it when we get there. It doesn't matter. You're equipped. Good. So this weapon is now going to be like stupidly strong. It already was our strongest weapon. Now it's going to be even more so. Oh yeah, and there's Atla that we can pick up here. That's nice. Another storage cabin. Uh, I'm gonna just swap to Shao and let her shoot the bats. Oh, she has more attack power now, that's awesome. Oh yeah, I could stick the synth sphere that we got onto her weapon. That is a really good idea. That would actually make her a bit more useful. <laughs> yes! We can one-shot the rocks. That is fantastic. Um, I hear another bat. Gosh darn it, I hate these things so much. All right, we can one-shot them without doing a charge attack also. That's awesome. Get the crest, we can move on to the next floor. But we got all the atlas to pick up here, so we're definitely gonna do that. Hey, we acquired the hag. There we go. Revival powder. That's cool. That could be useful if I totally screw something up again. I suspect... I feel like we're coming up on the boss. Like, the boss is going to be happening very soon here. So having the revival powder might be huge for that. I don't know. 
I don't know how difficult the boss is going to be. Ooh, and a big chest. Hell yeah. Yeah, Zinsa, you've been acquired. We're carrying you around inside my magic gauntlet now. Oh, jeez, you're King Mimic. Dang it, I wanted you to be a big chest and give me a weapon. Gosh darn it. Stupid Mimics. They're terrible. Who let them come hang out here anyway? Oh, there's a dragon. How many hits does it take to kill a dragon? Also, I gotta be careful because of repair powder. Ooh, that hurts real bad. You damaged my weapon so much. Right, repair. <laughs> it's a little weird, but all right. Now you're hanging out with like a windmill, uh, a ladder now. You got like some trees, a couple of bridges that we haven't used. Several parts of a river. I think we've picked up another human. I think there's another person in there with you. So you have somebody to either talk to or just avoid. Difficult to kill. Oh, and I saw a rock man behind me. Ooh, I'm gonna get rocked. Those things are obnoxious. All right. Oh wow, she can actually kill a ghost. Antidote. Ooh, another ghost. Wind gem. Those are nice to have. I think. Well, either whatever type that is is nice to have. Was it one of these? Yeah, it's a whirlwind gem. Okay. Still good to have. How full are we on items? 57. Okay, we have a little bit of space. We're doing all right. Okay, here we go. We're gonna tram oil it up. Let's do this. Tram with rusty wheels. Let's stick. Some tram oil on it. Floor 14. This is maybe gonna be a little tough. But I think we'll be okay. Look at it go. back half of floor 14. Gosh darn it, I hate these rock knobs. All right, I gotta, I gotta heal. We're gonna eat a cheese. Gosh darn it, I hate these things so much. Oh, it's gonna kill me. I can't take two hits from this guy. He's gonna kill me. This is devastating. Yowza! Okay, there are only one enemy and two chests over here. Hopefully only one enemy. Oh man, rock and arms. I don't like you at all! Woo! Just gonna make sure it's super, super dead. Please don't be a mimic. Sea killer? We have not gotten any of those. That's cool. We know that there's not going to be any maps or uh, magic crystals because we already have those for this floor. Holy crap, we got a diamond. That's amazing. What stat does that raise? All of the killers go up by five. Look at that. That's insane. 
That's very, very, very nice. I'm a huge fan. We will probably consume that on our Shamshir when we level this thing up. This Shamshir, oh my gosh, we're gonna die. Uh, this current Shamshir that I'm wielding, that is very strong, it's plus four. We're, I'm almost certainly gonna break it into a Synth Sphere as soon as we have the chance. Also, Cat Girl, do you need water? Not anymore. Gosh, why is it all rockin' ons back here? Oh man, he almost killed me. That would have been rough. What a way to go. I think I need to start using charge attacks when I fight these guys. Because they are way too strong back here. We need more defense, too. Also, oh my gosh, one thing after another. I think I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I hate springtime. I hate springtime. I hate it so much. I hate allergies. I hate sinuses. It's just the worst. All right, we'll do this because it's a lot safer. Because he... Oh no, and it doesn't kill him in one hit. Oh my gosh. like these. My plan to become a skeleton did not work out. No, it didn't. I am not a skeleton. Still just a miserable allergy-ified human. Ooh, a topaz. What are you? What are you? What are you? Customize. Ooh, five attack power is pretty good. Oh, what a surprise, it's in the rockin' off. Please don't hurt me! Ooh, I don't like them. Could go back and heal, I'm just gonna eat. So many of these rock -offs. I don't even know like what we're getting absorption wise here. 71 is what we're at. Oh geez. Uh run. Okay. What did we get? 77. So we're getting six per kill. That's not awful. It's pretty good. I'm more excited about like all the treasures we're getting in here. If I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Stamina drink. Oh, Dran's feather broke and disappeared. No, we're slow. Give me another one. I'm addicted. I have to have my speed. So I think, I'm not positive, but I think if we ride the tram, the enemies will respawn. Absorption 83. What do we get from a dragon? A dragon on the front of the dungeon. Oh, geez, it's a rocking off. 88. Ah, gosh darn it. I hate you so much, rocking offs.
Um, I see one treasure chest. It seems like that would probably be a mimic. Do I want to fight a mimic? I don't know. Here, let's do this real quick. Let's see if any treasure chests respawn on the back of the dungeon. Or if it's just those terrible, 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 terrible rock and ops. Just the rock and ovs. Get me out of here. I don't want to fight them anymore. I hate them. They're awful. They're the worst thing ever. We need to find a way to raise our defense. We need more fluffy donuts and fish candies. Yeah, okay, so all the chests are still open. It just respawns all the enemies. That's interesting. So we know that chest on the map is going to be a mimic. It's going to be a, probably a king mimic again. Also, the dungeon layout doesn't change. Does she kill Rockanovs? No. Nope. You have no... No method for fighting those things. <laughs> you do no damage to them. Alright, King Mimic. Take that, you jerk. That was a chunk of gold. That's not bad. Our absorption on this weapon is almost full. Holy crap, we just got dragoned. This is, uh... This is rough going. Whoops, not weapon. My brain just, like, auto-sends me to the weapon. Customization. Page. Tab. Menu. Freaking, of course you poison me too. Everything's terrible. Why is everything here so mean and terrible and full of poison? Making me be full of poison too. Oh, almost broke the sham shoe. That would have been terrible. I was not even paying attention. Oh, that would have been the worst thing ever. Right, you little poisonous monstrosity. Get over here. We kill just like one or two more things that should be enough to fill our weapon absorption again. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, that feels good. Okay. Shame shear. What do we need to build you up? Attack, magic, ice wind, and holy. All that crap. So... We'll do that. So, I'm, I want to save the Synth Sphere, because it gives us a, just a hefty chunk of stats. It's pretty good. Um, every time we convert a weapon into a Synth Sphere, we... It, we only keep 60% of the stats. So absorbing a synth sphere and then turning that new weapon into another synth sphere, we're losing a chunk of stats off of this every time, making this basically less and less and less effective. I'd rather have this synth sphere and the sham shear plus, it's gonna be plus five, put both of those on the same weapon. We'll get maximum benefit. That seems really good. That seems like the way to go. Probably have to equip a different weapon. 
We'll equip you for a moment. This guy doesn't need that much absorption, so we could probably level up the Chris Knife a bunch. I think the Shamshir is just like a higher tier of weapon than the Chris Knife is. Status break. Oh, we're also very low on repair powder. Yeah, we need to go back to town. Um, also, let's... Because this has been driving me crazy. Can we... Yeah, we can stick all this stuff in here. Okay. Oh, we have to manually reorder it. That's fine. I'm going to put the dagger, like, over there. I don't, I don't want that dagger here anymore. Honestly, the crystal knife might be good for... ...turning into a synth sphere as well. What... what do you do? What's... what is your deal? Ice and nothing else. Really, really, really good MP, though. Which is, like, how effective the elements and attributes, like the Slayer effects are. So that's actually really good. If we could get some magic on this Bone Rape here, it would be really nice. What do you build up into? Only one thing. It's so much more MP. So if we stick like our Shamshir on here, That gives 15 extra attack power. That's like kind of ridiculous. Oh, we can only have one sensory on at a time. Got it. Interesting. Yeah, that's still pretty good. Um, and this thing needs like a stupid amount of magic if we're gonna build it up. So ice and thunder. Okay, probably gonna use you. It only has 30 HP. Ugh. So we can stick the other sham shear on this one. That's very nice. We don't have any more ice or wind. We do. Okay, what did the opal give? Endurance. Oh, that's awesome. You needed a crap ton of actual magic on you. You also need a bunch of holy magic, so let's stick holy on here. All right, we got two pretty strong weapons here. We got the bone rape here. How do you do against Rokhanovs? Two hits to take one out. This Shamshir needs to, or the, the bone rape here. Whatever this is that I've got here. Oh, let's leave before I die from poison. Wow, I have 5 HP. Alright. Woo! We're gonna leave temporarily. I gotta go, like, buy some bread and eat it real quick. Oh, and we can, we can put Zincent the Hag back in her home. Uh... Yeah, so what do we got? Coral, and that's baby brother. Oh yeah, we need to we need to go see what you want in the house. We know you want a lantern. There's the hag. She tells fortunes. That's that's something. She needs a storage cabin. Oh yeah, we have the other small windmill.
think all the small windmills need to be around Dran's windmill. I think, I think, I think, I think that's gonna happen. I think we're gonna have to do that. Maybe like the mayor's gonna be the one who tells us that or something. I don't know. Um, do we have more roads we can place? No. We have a lot more trees though. Okay, all that in the hag. We gotta we gotta talk to you. Let's go say hello to the hag. By which I mean run around her house and see if there's any new stuff that we can loot. Then we'll go say hello to the hag. All right, Zinson, tell my fortune. Ooh, magic plus three. Wait. Aha. Oh, it's you, Toan. You startled me. Hello. What did you say? You get this old, your hearing goes. Hello. Those macho brothers. One day they're drunk and fighting, the next they're walking side by side. You can't tell if they get along well or not, really. Hello. Have you eaten all that omelet yet? It's superb. Actually, I gave her the recipe. Oh, nice, nice little, like, humble brag there. Ah, oh, it's the best omelet anyone's ever had! Of course, the recipe's mine, but you know. Paige probably took after her father and became a tomboy that way. Or maybe Pike just raised it that way. See there, it's Pike with a P! Yeah, the, the translation and spelling and stuff in this game is, uh... Off. Here you're going to that cave lately. I won't stop you, but do be careful. Sometimes when you return from the cave, there are treasure chests all over. Who's putting them there, I wonder? I hear that every time you advance to a new floor, it happens. Oh, look at that. So we have confirmation. Okay, we already talked about the Macho Brothers. What do you want your house by? An itsy-bitsy amount of magic is in Dran's windmill. It's strange, but if you stand near it, you'll feel full of energy. I'd like my house in front of Dran's windmill plates, all right? And isn't it odd that with all that's been going on, Dran hasn't done anything? It really is odd. Something's probably happened to Dran, too. Toan, please save Dran. That's my request. Eh? I guess I have two requests, then, don't I? Wow, Zinsa, you're picky. You're the only one that... Uh, hey, I'll do one thing for you. What do you want? You're like, here's two. Okay, fine. All right, sure. Whatever. What else do you want in your house? A bench outside so I can sit in the sun. And jars. I like them displayed outside, too. Do you want, like, human body parts in the jars? Or just you just want some jars? If I had jars of human body parts, I would do that. I think all I have is just regular jars. And then I'm assuming that Carl's gonna want like a storage space because then we're out of items. Then that's everything. Hello, I got you your bench and a couple of jars on the side of your house. Hearts. That's good. Hey, good to see you. Everything's back the way it was. I don't even know how to thank you. I mean, I haven't put you in front of the windmill, really, but... Well, I decided I'll give you a hand. This old girl's hand. To help you on your quest. Uh, is, are you... Is this a proposition? What's going on here? Do you have a severed hand in a jar? What do you got going on here? I know you keep your severed hand... Oh, yeah. What? I'm so confused. You can use my closet to store items you don't need. Come drop off items anytime. Oh. You want all my crap. You want to just hold all my stuff. I mean, that's cool. Are you not going to, like, tell my fortune, though? It's finished! Your life feels better when you're doing something. Right. Thank you, Toan. Huh. Alright. I was hoping to have my fortune be told, but that's also good. Uh, we gotta go find the little kid. We gotta go find Carl. Oh, it's afternoon now. Who knows where Carl's gonna be? There's 
page. There's the Macho Brothers. Also, do we see any obvious treasure chests? We do. Ooh, another gourd. Oh, that's very nice. Um... Was it this house? I think this is Carl's house. Carl and Allnut. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Toen, bro, you're in one piece. Thought you were dead. Don't call me bro. That poncho's looking good on you. Someday I'm gonna ask for one of those cool ponchos, too. Uncle Pike's always fishing, isn't he? The other day I asked him to take me along. He said, it's not for kids, but I'm not a kid anymore, really. Hmm. Miracle chests that appear after you return from the cave, they appear after you access new floors. That's what I've heard, anyway. Do you know Dungeon at BBS? When you enter the dungeon, it tells you how many Atla remain and on which floor. It lets you go to floors you've been to before easily. Cool, huh? Say, Toan, you're really going to the cave a lot lately. Huh. I heard. Can I come with you next time? No. Hell no. What do you want? You don't care. What'll happen when it's done? Oh, that's my sister. All right, what else do you want in the house? My storage cabin with all my crap in it. And this is, yeah, so this is all of our items used after this. So then we could just rearrange the, the world, I guess. I think we're done, which means the next floor of the dungeon's probably the boss. Hello. You have a llama and you have a storage cabinet and you got a lamp, what else? How are you feeling? Ah, Toan, there you are. I keep my promises. Give me just a moment. What, what was your promise? I don't remember, I don't know if we asked her what she was gonna give us. A book? Ooh, what? You had the fishing rod? I got this from Uncle Pike, but I don't really use it. Now it's yours. Why did you keep it on the bookshelf? That's weird. Oh, don't tell Uncle Pike. How do you use it? I uh don't -huh. Oh, sis, that's not fair. Oh, he saw. Didn't I tell you I always wanted that? What are you talking about? You almost drowned in the pond once, remember? I'm not allowing you to fish. It's too dangerous. What the? Oh, you made the little kid cry. That got awkward. <laughs> All right. We're gonna have to rearrange everything here. Um, and we have to we have to save Dran as well. You know the thing that we've presumably been working towards. Anything fun in the closet? Ooh, what? A pocket. Wait, 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 what, 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 what? Hell yeah, we're up to 70. Look at that. Uh, let's give water to Xiao. Honestly, I'll give another one to Tone. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to buy a bunch of crap. Let's go fishing. Boy, doesn't that sound like fun. Anything else in here? I'm not seeing anything else. Mayor, do you have any, like, you don't have any requests for where I build stuff? I don't think he cares. Alright. Um, we'll let go hunting for miracle chests and stuff later. Okay, so... Oh... Uh, Was it Paige or was it Laura 
Who was cooking? Somebody was cooking. Claude wants to be by whoever was cooking. Alright, so he's gonna go over there. Uh, Zinsen, you wanted to be in front of the windmill blades. I don't remember what your deal was. Actually, let's swap you. I don't remember who Claude wanted to be by. So we'll just put them on either side of him. Uh, Gaffer just wanted to be by, like, all the people. Uh, slash, let's do this. I don't know why we're moving everybody over here to be, like, right by the, uh... Oh, somebody wanted to not be near the mayor. I think it was Laura. Can't actually attach the, like, the rivers to the pond or anything. Put some river going through here. Oh, that's terrible. All the windmills kind of back here by each other. Uh, we need to place the bridges. Your backyard is breezy. Hey, you're the one who made the request. You're the one who wanted to live in front of the magic power of the windmill. some trees over by your house too. I don't like my inability to like get through. Here, Gaffer, can we move your buggy? Can. Something more like this. Gaffer down there. Could we do like this? Is this a good idea? This might be a terrible idea. <laughs> one. We have one chunk of road. Hmm, well. I wanted to move that, not remove it. Game, the game's a little fussy about this stuff. That's alright. Pond there. 
River. Oh, we missed a bridge. All right, I gotta deal with the road situation here. We'll deal with that in a moment. That's fine, I guess. That's gonna have to be fine. All right, uh, trees. One more tree. Ah, there we go. Okay, is that everything? Yay, for the birds! We placed all the trees, probably. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I feel I feel pretty good about this. Okay. How are you? Be someplace where I don't have to go far for a good workout. What does that mean? Where... What does that mean? Don't have to go far for a good workout. You, you literally have weights outside of your house. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know what he wants for the workout. Endurance plus three. Um, slash, we should go loot everybody's house after we're done with the dungeon. Because I think that'll, I think that'll be everything. Okay. So he's clearly not satisfied. We're missing something for him. Uh, if we go here, we're just going to spend a moment doing this. I was hoping to have a page to talk to. There you are. Talk to dad. It's finished. How's the new pouch? Is it good? Yeah. And I even got another one, but I'm not going to tell you that because I want yours to seem unique and special, which it was. I added a pocket to it? I think I, you gave me the pouch? I don't know. Where is Pike? Don't know. Laura, are you happy? Thank you, Toan. Gina's happy too. She says she can sleep now. Oh, because we got you away from the mayor. Okay. Slash, this is your house, so I don't need to do this. It's quiet during the night because we're far from the mayor's house. Mommy's snoring is kind of loud now. It's done! If I find anything on the ground again, I'll give it to you. Aw, oh, thanks. She's like a pet cat. Here, here's a thing that I killed. You can have it. You're welcome. It's the best present. I mean, she did literally give me a feather that she found on the ground, so it's not that far off. Those huge muscles really freak me out. Yeah, you don't want to be by the muscle guys. And you don't care. My sister doesn't like the Macho Brothers. I don't know why. They're nice people. Doesn't look like I can climb up. Again. Still. I can never climb up. I said I didn't want to do this to check for treasure, but we're, we're committed now. Hello, llama. Blah. save Drain. Alright, I wanted to do a little bit of fishing. Who is this? Oh, one of the Macho Brothers. Fish! Yeah, my cat also does not go outside. Uh, change bait. Oh, we can actually go fishing. This is amazing. Uh... Creepy. Wiggle waggle. Creepy. Creepy worm. Alright.
Nope. I think it has to go underwater. The controller was vibrating and it freaked me out. Oh, I thought I had you. It went underwater. Game, why are you doing this? Uh oh, my character's stuck in this animation now. Oh, I caught one. That was an accident. I was just gonna reel it in and throw it again. Hey, look at that, 13 points. What do we need, like a thousand or ten thousand or something stupid to get the... to get a new weapon? We'll put a tiny fish on the hook. And we'll see if we can use it to catch a less tiny fish. Any, anybody biting? Here comes one. Nobody, nobody's biting. What if we just do it from like over here? Anybody want a tiny fish? Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? Nobody wants the tiny fish here. Tiny fish in a tiny pond. I think my character just gets impatient and starts tapping his feet. He fishes like I would. Um. Alright, we know the worm worked. Let's do another one of these. I'm so glad that they don't appear to, like, steal the bait. At least not these early fish. Like if you fail to catch one. I don't know when I'm supposed to try to reel it in. is so bad. There we go. There we got one. Give me a fish. Ooh, it's a spiky fish. Oh no, it's just a big frilly one. Niller. Niler? 23 fishing points. It's like almost double what the first one was. I don't remember any of the fishing point prices. One of the, the, the weapon was stupidly expensive. That's about all I got. Minon. Let's throw you. Weird noodliness of the fishing line is gonna kill you. Yeah, it's it's weird. The physics of it are bizarre. Come on, I believe in you, fish. Yeah, there we go. A gummy. Uh, we got baton. We got a little cricket thing. Not a little cricket. It's like the size of my head. It's enormous. It's a very, very, very large bug. Probably bigger than any of the fish in here. Watch out. The grasshopper's gonna come eat you. I'm just gonna waggle the line a little bit realistically and make it look like it's moving. Ooh, are you interested? Almost. You gonna you gonna go for a bite? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. Oh dang it. Thought I had it. Ugh, I hate fishing in video games. Why do people put this in video games? This is terrible. Fishing shouldn't be allowed in real life, let alone in video games. It's just so Boring. Hey, let's take a really boring thing and put it in a video game. 
Okay, stop tapping your feet, man. That's obnoxious. Are there are more fish. Do we see any more fish around here? I know, uh, like, a whole bunch of people back, back home, back where I'm from. Back in the old country. So many people are, like, really into fishing. Like, it's their favorite thing. They will go fishing, or they will, like, go down to the shooting range and shoot guns. And, like, you know, I mean, cool, alright, sure, if that's, if that's really what you're into, but... Man, I think both of those things are just so boring. The only type of gun shooting I like is the kind that comes with, like, bungee... crazy jump physics and stuff. And wacky, like, rocket launchers. Please eat the grasshopper and the hook. Come on. You keep just like nibbling at it and swimming away. Come on. Take a bite. Nom 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 nom. Please come back, fish. Please. I see you. I see you out there in the water. Come on. Mmm, doesn't look delicious. Alright, we'll try we'll try one more with the prickly. We haven't tried this yet. The spiky bug. Anything in there wanna come take a bite? Yeah, here comes one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. Yeah. I don't know how far down he has to pull it for it to count as a full bite, and oh, ah, this is so hard to catch fish. Give me like a net or something. I'll catch fish that way. Seems like it'd be a lot faster. Anybody want a bug? It's all prickly and spiky. Where did you go, fish? Come on. I see you there, fish. Come get it. Take a bite. Oh, you're so close. Come on. There we got one. Holy crap, that took forever. Freaking tiny little guppy. Sorry, a gummy. Uh, you know, if you keep throwing the exact same fish back into the pond every time you catch it, it's just always going to be the same fish that you keep catching. That's... isn't that funny how that works? I don't like fishing primarily because I can't catch fish. It, it's just... tedious? Doesn't seem fun? I don't know. Ooh, we can get a... we can get a killer thing. Slash, getting an actual gem seems way better. I wish there was a way to actually know what the gems did. Whoa, Matador. Whoa, whoa, you got a slingshot. Slingshot made of oxhorn, very powerful. Oh, I want that. Power of the moonbeam. Tsukikage. I like that. Um, okay, get me the hell out of here. Oh, we can't, okay. Oh, right, 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 Hi. Um. Oh, we need repair powders. Huh. 
How are we on water? Oh, we're out of bread, too. Stand in powder. We could maybe stand and have another skate powder. Ooh, we can buy Dran's feathers. That seems like a worthwhile investment. Get you the hell out of my inventory. Just sell weapons? Oh, well, not that one. Yeah, we can. Interesting. How much would one of these sell for? 600? Holy crap. That's crazy. Are these all like the same price? I think they are. Because he sells them all for the same price. Give or take. Um. What was... Oh, we need wind, don't we? That's pretty good. How are we doing on stuff? I should repair, like, all my weapons, shouldn't I? We have 13 repair powders. That's fine, probably. We'll repair this. You happy with your house, buddy? All nets, always the best cook. Just smell that, I'm in heaven. Ah, ha, 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 ha. All right, we've solved his. So I still don't know where Macho wants to be. Oh no, I wanted to talk to Pike. No, he's not gonna be there because it's nighttime now. Game, no, why, why are you doing this to me? No, he had a treasure there, I'll take that. Undead buster. Ooh, Renee, uh, how are you happy with the thing? Oh, we have to be facing a certain direction with our house. That's right. Are you happy? No, you want me to talk to your dad, who I can't talk to because he vanished because it's nighttime. So we still have a little bit of work to do here on, on setting up the... everything. That's alright, we're getting close. Okay. We are going back into the dungeon. Is there any Atla on whatever the next floor is? Because we didn't get to see it. Hey, 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 look at that. Divine Beast Rand's chamber. So that's the end. That's cool. We'll probably deal with the Divine Beast and uh, reorganize the town and, like, go to the next area, watch cutscenes, all that crap. Then I'll probably call it for today. Assuming I can, I can deal with this. For all we know, the boss might be very, very difficult. Is that Dran? Is that the Divine Beast? There's a horn-shaped keyhole. I have a Dran horn key. Yay! Ooh, look at the floating crystals. This is a cool looking room. Whew, all right, I'm a little worried. <laughs> he's in the he's in the opening sizzle, like the if you just leave it on the title screen, you get the like little sizzle reel plan. Hey, that's not nice. I'm here to do good things. Be careful, Toan. It seems like Dran is being manipulated. There's no choice but to fight him. Use your power to break the spell. It's this guy. We haven't seen this guy in a while. Our facial haired spirit friend. Bring me one of those for my house. A, a Dran? A divine beast Dran? It's like a horned, he's just like a large dog 
<laughs> with horns. And wings. Whoa. And is maybe destroying part of the dungeon? This is, oh, we're dead. What on earth is this? How do I deal with it? I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do, game. Okay, we got him we knocked him down. Holy crap, I'm also about to eat a face full of fireball here. I feel like our defense could be better. I feel like that would be helpful. Also, now we know why we got feathers from Dran. Holy crap. Dran, I'm here to help, buddy. Oh, really? That's it? You're flying again? Stab him in the butt. Oh, we can only get off like one hit at a time. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I'm getting the gist of this. Boy, I gotta say, I do not remember this part of the game at all. Come on. Okay. Get in there for a stabby stab. Forty-one damage. That's a number. I don't know if that's good or not. Ah! Ah! Don't don't headbutt the cat. Let the cat headbutt you. Uh, I've also not been paying attention to our weapon drain, our weapon HP. Okay. I like that we hit him. And he goes and sits down. Please don't have but me. Okay. Cool that it's making us use both characters like this, though. Okay, so we literally can only hit him once at a time. Boy, now that you're not destroying your home anymore, you're kind of just... Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Kind of don't have a lot going on, Dran. Ooh, I don't like what's happening with the dungeon floor. Gosh darn it, I don't like you kicking me either. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, all right, here, eat an entire loaf of bread. You'll feel, about, feel better. I feel like I might be, like, maybe Toen here is one of the adventures in uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. My life is a king. Just like, mmm, bread. Fully, fully restore my HP. at 22, so we do double damage if we, uh, dang it, it was not quick enough, if we do a charge attack. Boy, what a tedious fight. How much HP do you have, man? Yay! We got him. I win. The God of Beasts. Take that. Terrible divine furball. Now lay down and let me scratch you behind the horns. Mm, what has happened to me? And who are you? What? You say I was being manipulated? I, Dran, the God of Beasts? <laughs> what an embarrassment. Hey, kid. Sorry about that. Mm, I see. So that's what's been happening on the Earth. 
The Dark Genie. That's what the old man, the Fairy King, called it? Is the old man the Fairy King? Is that who he is? If that's the case, we might be in trouble. I've heard that name before. Long ago, a monster called Black Demon appeared in East Terra. The creature caused massacres after massacre and almost brought the world to an end. Neither the most gallant knights nor the most powerful of sorcerers could stand before the horror of the creature, much less, much less harm it. Nobody could even touch it. Its power seemed vast as the limitless power of genies. Those people started to call it the Dark Genie. It wiped out nearly all of the known kingdoms of the world. Ultimately, only a few people on Earth survived. Then, when all seemed lost, a tribe called the Moon People created an enormous urn that could seal the tremendous power and trapped the Dark Genie inside. All right. The world recovered and peace was restored. The world was saved by the Moon People and their mastery of the mystical arts. That's about all I know. Here, let me give you excruciating detail about all sorts of stuff that happened in the past, and then just like, sorry, that's all I know. If you want to go after the Dark Genie, you better have the Moon People on your side. I hear that the Moon People live quietly deep in the woods, in a place located beyond the Matataki village. Do, do they not live on the moon? Doesn't that make more sense? Don't you think that they would be like Lunarians from Final Fantasy? Living on the moon? Final Fantasy IV? Do we need a moon whale to go to space? The Matataki village is just south of Norun village. Why not go there first? Well, that's convenient. Odd oh, that the fairy king, who never really liked humans, gave a kid like you the power of the stone. He's got something up. Oh well, I could use some fresh air for a change. Hop on my back, I'll give you a lift outside. Yay, it's the never ending story. Look at this, we get to ride around on a big furry creature. I'm so happy. <laughs> Wrong game series. Is it though? Are you sure? They're called moon people. Do we think they're gonna be like rabbit people? Are they gonna have like rabbit ears? That's a very Japanese thing. Is that why they're called moon people? Because they're just like talking rabbits? I appreciate your work, kid. I don't have a clue about how powerful this genie is, but it was powerful enough to control me. That should give me a clue. That, that, that should be a clue. That's literally a clue. I don't know how powerful it is, but it was able to control me. So it's at least that powerful. Be prepared! It's dangerous to go alone. Take this with you. Yeah, world map. Hooray. You don't want to give me, like, feathers? Like, give me one of your wings? <laughs> Can I just have all your feathers? There's no plain world map, kid. It's a magical map that takes you to the point that you... The place that you point to. Ooh, words. All right, go to Matataki Village. I hear that the moon people live deep in the wise owl forest. Once you reach Matataki, first things first, visit the great tree. See, I remember this village. I have a very, very distinct memory of this, this next area. I'll follow the river and you'll find it. He might look a bit weird, but he takes good care of people. He's sure to give you a hand. The great tree ant. Cool. I remember, I even remember putting together this next village. Because it's, it stands out in my mind. It's a pretty cool one. And just like that, we're, we're done. We did it. Yay. Uh, we'll go to Matataki Village. However, we gotta run around and talk to people and see if everybody's happy. Witch lady. Hag. Hag's incent. Hello. Uh, thanks to you. I'm feeling good these days. You're such a nice boy, Toa. It's finished. Do you not have any more treasure for me or anything? You just have a closet full of stuff. I suppose I could just stick a bunch of junk in the closet. So does that mean we have to come here and talk to her to get the stuff out of the closet? That seems... That seems kind of tedious. Um... So, I 
I think. We need to rearrange everything. Um, so we gotta figure out what, like, Macho and company wants. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I think I do know what they want. I think I know exactly what they want. Okay. Uh, which means that we gotta we gotta shift everything around a bit. A lot, a fair, fair old bit. Uh, I think because they like the they because they want to train, they want to work out. I think that means they want to be able to go kill monsters. So they want to be right here where Laura's house is. And your only requirement was just to like not be near the mayor. So that's fine. And that's all net. So all net needs to be near Claude. We'll, we'll deal with this in a moment here. Okay, let's move some trees. Do you guys? Do you guys want a road? Um, Paige. What did she want? I don't remember what they wanted. Also, we're going to have to rotate my own house. I think we need to be facing this direction, maybe? Let's move Gaffer, like, up here. That tree is just always going to be in the way. So if we put Gaffer here. Zinsi, you were complaining about your house, so we will, we will relocate. You want to be in front of the windmill. So I think if we do like this... Here, we'll have a road running around up here. Um, you just needed to be away from everything. Claude needs to not be near the Macho Brothers. Yeah, we'll do that. He can have like a little... He can, he can be secluded over here. Uh, we're not actually going to do that because he needs to be... Actually, I don't know how close to like all Nets house he needs to be. Put a windmill over on this side. You know what? We'll put a windmill over here on this side, too. We'll put it over by the mayor. The mayor's feeling a little left out. Nobody wants to be by him. Yeah, 
Actually, I do want to road running by the mayor's house like this. Something like this. Okay. All right. All right. We're we're getting there. Bridge there. I don't know. We just we have way too many bridges. I don't know what to do with them all. Move the trees. It's got to look nice. It can't just exist. It has to look nice, you know? Okay. I wish we had more trees, but this is going to have to do. The pond. Oh, you know what? They're going to... Um, Paige is going to want to be by the pond. Almost certainly. Because uh, Pike is the fisher. He's the guy that likes all the fishing. I bet you that's what he's going to want. So if we go... Oh, i got to deal with all the roads, too. That's the other problem. Okay. Oh, right, and it's morning time. We have to wait for the little... Hey, no, look at that! It's perfect! We did it! We get a cutscene. Bam, 100%. Is he going to come congratulate me on reassembling the town? We got to deal with like the roads and stuff, but this is, this is pretty good. Way to go, kid. The villagers are all happy now. I realize what the old man, Simba, saw in you. Hey, it's the Lion King of the fairies. You just might be able to beat the Dark Genie. As a reward, I'll teach you a special technique. The Lethal Windmill Slash. <laughs> By roaring at me. You roared at me and now I know how to swing my sword. Yay. Look at that. Hey, hometown hero. Look at that. Oh, that's great. It's a powerful charge skill that causes damage to all enemies near you. Charge with the zero button and release it after you flash Z times. Or two times. Be careful, though. It eats up whip very fast. That's all I can do for now. So long, kiddo. Yeah, boy. Wow, this game needs a, a once-over with an editor. It's just it's just a minor little thing, but it does bug me a little bit. Um, okay. And we don't have, like, any more road that we can place, do we? Oh, we do. We have five more. Where did that come from? Um, I guess Gaffer's happy being right there. Apparently my house is facing the correct direction now. That's awesome. Can we do... Like this? Sorry, I gotta, you know, we gotta, we gotta deal with all this stuff. I don't know if you have to be, like, perfectly centered in front of Duran's windmill. That seems fine. Move my house back. Move this down a little bit. Eh, we'll put the pond there. Scoot Gaffer down. He can be on the road. Or adjacent to the road. That's fine. Oh, it bugs me that we can't connect that road there. Um. We're gonna we're gonna do it like this. This is how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be. One piece of road at a time. Okay, that's connected. Do that. All right, all right, all right. I like this. See, see how neat everything is here. 
Some trees there in the backyard. We'll move this up one. That feels a little better. That's cool. Just like trees all over the place. I love it. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect village. Everybody's happy. Everything's amazing. Okay. Now, before we go to the other village, we're going to do a final once over and see if there's any more treasure chests. Because we finished the last floor of the dungeon, so it should be treasure chests galore. By which I mean, it should be the final round of treasure chests. There shouldn't be any more added later. Okay. Nothing here. We could also look around the outside. The mayor might have something. Man, I would love to get like another fish candy or something. Um, let's go pop back into Dran's windmill, please. There we go. Dran, you got anything else here in your windmill? Secret treasure hidden back here in the corner. Did we get it all already? Might have gotten everything already. Nothing up there. We already got the one that was at the very top. Yeah, I think we're I think we're done. I think we got everything here. It's alright. We could also just do this to check around the outsides real quick. Nothing outside Macho's house. Nothing outside Paige's house, from what I could see. Nothing outside my house, or the hag's house. I think it's funny that the hag doesn't have a name, she's just... Hag. Oh, uh, here, let's just... Oh, let's rotate the pond. There we go. Okay, so we check the windmill. Check Paige's house. Oh, everybody's happy that we put the village back together. That's pretty cool. I feel pretty good about that. Okay, you don't have anything. Does Gaffer have anything? Does he sell any new stuff? Gaffer, how you doing? Um, we could like make some money if we needed to. I'm, we still have bread and stuff, so I, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Macho and crew? Macho and other macho? How you doing? That cave is full of monsters now. I know Dran doesn't like it, but it's really exciting for me. I always like a good challenge. Yeah, it's good. The cave's tough lately. Toan, fighting with weapons is not the way to go. Only hand-to-hand -hand combat is true battle. Well, have fun with that, pal. You do you, I guess. I will stick to using a sword with, like, magically infused elemental lightning powers and stuff. Okay, and you guys didn't have anything around behind. We checked the windmill. We'll do Laura's house. I think we probably already got everything, but there's, like, maybe gonna be an item or two that we missed. Maybe? I don't know if clearing out the final floor with Dran adds anything new. I have no idea. Go see how the llama's doing. How you doing, llama? Blah. I'm gonna pop upstairs. Carl, how you doing, buddy? Sorry I stole your fishing pole. And by stole, I mean your sister gave it to me. 
Clearly she likes me more than she likes you. Um, did we go inside the hag's house? I think we did. Oh, here's Claude. There we go. And cheese. What a what a surprise. He has a lot of cheese. I'm sure he won't notice if we just take one. One standard cheese, please. You don't have anything around behind? Doesn't look like it. Um, so my house. Go visit my own llama. And then the mayor, and then that's it. Then we're moving on. Blah. Yay! Ooh, a gourd! That's really, really good. We'll hold on to that gourd, because I know we're going to get a new character soon. Soon-ish. Might be like ten floors in or something to the next dungeon, but... Ooh, tasty water. And bread. Feel weird raiding my own house for stuff, but you know. You do what you gotta do, I guess. There's my spare poncho, spare hat, and spare furry boots. Just, you know, if you ever need an extra identical copy of the current outfit you're wearing. Mayor, do you have any stuff? Also, I'll talk to you, of course. I just came here to say hello. I'm clearly here to talk to you. I'm not here to raid all your stuff out of your house at all. Definitely not looking for free loot. Anything else in the pantry? Sadly, no. How was it? Did you get to see Dran? You did? Oh, I see. Dran is resourceful indeed. What? You're going after the Dark Genie? And you'll leave Norgan Village to go to Matataki Village? Mm, Matataki Village. That's the Hunter's Village, south of this one. Be careful. For the time being, Norgan Village is safe. But for the other villages? Mm. I like the weird lopsided shape of his house. It's, a, it's like a crashed blimp. It's like a crashed airship. It's very Monster Hunter World. I really like it. Uh, okay. I think... Aha! Go to the other area. Let's save. Ooh, look at that. Divine Beast Cave or Matataki Village? Let's go to the village. We're just gonna go check the cutscene, get, get everything started here, and then we'll call it for the day. But I want to go visit the giant tree. It's the Deco tree. He's great. Boy, not much of a village here. One like the Matataki crater. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another character from the sizzle at the start. Oh, I... Uh... I didn't really want to go this way, but... We'll turn around and go that way in a moment. I want to take a look around at the nothingness that we have here. Can't open my Jira on the menu. Look at this. There's like some rivery bits and stuff. Like there's there's clearly clearly used to be something going on here. This is a cool looking area. Big little waterfall. A distinct lack of flowing water. The game says those are river bits. I do not believe. 
There's a sign here. I think this is where we were going. I see no great treant or anything. Hello, mystery person who somehow survived the cataclysm. Please don't kill me. What? Who the? Ah, you! You must be with that monster that ruined the village. I know I'm right! No, 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 no. You can't lie to me. That face of yours is a villain's face! Get ready. The hurts are coming. Enough already. Yeah! Oh, cool. We're doing a duel. Here we go. Oh. I'm dead. <laughs> Just like that, we failed. Is Can I use the analog stick for that? That The diagonal was... That threw me off. We're gonna try it. We're gonna very slowly climb the ladder. Oh, <laughs> he had a pocket just laying around here. That's awesome. Don't mind me, I'm gonna steal all your stuff first. A boy on a tree. I think we have to leave the area and come back to fight him. <sighs> Alright, boy in a tree, I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna re-enter and I'm gonna attack again. This is disappointing. Boy, do I wish I was better at video games. say you again or do we, or we just start the whole conversation over not finished yet villain you want to fight again yeah i'll beat you this time no matter how hard you try you'll never beat me let's do it evil spirit repeller ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right you know what Cool. Perfect. Awesome. This is exactly what I. This is exactly how I wanted this to go. We, you know what? We're gonna call it quits here. We're gonna. I'm gonna save, and we're not gonna do this anymore. I'm not gonna embarrass myself anymore today. We'll save the embarrassment for tomorrow.